Batman Arkham Asylum is one of my favorite games of all time. I don't even need to replay it to tell you that, but it has been 15 years since Rocksteady put out this superhero horror masterpiece way back in 2009. I've been itching to replay the game, and so I would like to share that experience with all of you. So please grab some snacks, grab some water, take a seat, and join me as I enter the madhouse and answer the question, does Batman Arkham Asylum hold up in 2024? Here we are starting off with this iconic intro. Immediately setting the tone for this game. The big bat logo in the sky. It's so good. It sets it apart from so many other superhero games by, you know, establishing the horror right from the get-go. Horror and superhero genres are kind of opposites when you think about it. And it just works so well with Batman. Just the rain pouring down. Dark City. Here we go. The Batmobile. No, you can't drive it. But it looks really cool. Looks like an armored muscle car in this. There you go to Arkham. Redesigned for this game to support a, you know, a whole video game environment. It's much bigger than it is in the comics. Here we have Batman. Look at him. I love these designs. They look ripped, like they're ripped straight from the comics, but are given realistic detailing. I think it's like the best of both worlds. Also, Batman voiced by Kevin Conroy. Mark Hamill does the voice of Joker. Arlene Sorkin doing the voice of Harley Quinn. She's in this game. All returning from Batman the Animated Series. The game was also written by Paul Dini, who worked on Batman the Animated Series. As I was saying about these designs, I mean, just look at that. You know, it's very comic booky. He's got the long pointy ears, the cape drags on the ground. He's got the undies on the outside, but it's armored and it, like, it makes sense, you know? It's realistic, but respects the source material. And the voice acting is just, you know, Mark Hamill is the Joker. The best Joker I think maybe they'll ever be. That's not nice. He's your patient, and oh, oh boy, those lips. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're gonna walk the Joker in. Very ominous start of the game. Just going deeper and deeper into the asylum, knowing that something's gonna go wrong. Got here just before you did. Can you smell the excitement in the air? No? Must have been one of the guards. What do we got coming up here? Killer Croc. Not just the Joker we've got to deal with. Arkham Asylum is home to many of Batman's villains. And unlike the movies, they're not afraid to get, you know, crazy sci-fi fantastical with it. So, yeah, that includes giant crocodile men. I love it because horror is kind of like, you know, the ultimate conflict. You're always worried about what's going to happen. You don't know how you're going to beat the odds. But then like superhero stuff, right, is the ultimate protagonist who can overcome anything. And I think those genres mesh together really well with Batman. Your shoes look fine. Hey, Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. One of Batman's most trusted allies. Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage. Leaving it to me to juggle SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Yeah, and the game literally just started. This is the one of the first cutscenes. Uh oh. Who was that? He's Batman. You're not gonna let him in? Listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. I think he's talking about you, Batman. I know, it's rude. 
That he is. Batman is not so different from his villains. And I think this game's story, while being very simple, does a great job of showing the thin line between you know, Batman and the people that he puts in the asylum. Oh no! Joker's signature headbutt! Joker is not loose. He's, he's literally right there. Come on, Batman, break the glass. Oh no, Harley has the access codes. It's almost like she used to work in the asylum. Batman finally broke the glass. Yeah. Let's get down to business. The Arkham Games combat. And I, well, I missed the first punch, but don't worry, it's okay. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so simple, right? Square to attack, triangle to counter, circle to stun, X to evade. But it's just so satisfying. Crunchy sound effects. Never repeating the animation. Always doing different stuff. How does Joker know that? I guess we'll find out. Avoid damage by countering, yes. I also find it funny that they just completely ripped off the spider sense symbol from Marvel. But I guess it's over the enemy's heads and not Batman's, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It, it seems very easy. It does get harder, okay? It's simple, but it's not necessarily easy. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because the combat is just so good. Gordon, try and contact the warden. Let him know what's happened. Yes. Oh, hey. Who's controlling the camera? Could Harley do that dramatic zoom in? Okay. Oracle, can you hear me? Yes, Oracle. Joker's escaped custody. I don't think she's been in any of the movies. Barbara Gordon, formerly Batgirl, the daughter of Commissioner Gordon, is now Oracle. Tech support. Hmm. It's only been about five minutes. This place has already fallen apart. Wait here. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. Hmm. He won't see me. Well, that's not really a plan, Batman. That looks even a little bit like a bat, and this guard dies. Do you hear me? Wait till he sees Batman. Batman, he's a lot of things. He's an expert fighter, the world's greatest detective, but he's also a master of stealth. And so this game gives you stealth. That's what detective mode is for. You can see enemies through walls, see important parts of the environment, and we can do stealth takedowns. Victor Zaz, also pretty obscure Batman villain. Marks his body every time he gets a kill. Obsessed with killing people. Thinks that it's, uh, he's relieving them from life. Ugh. Well, that's a pretty rude thing to say to somebody who's mentally ill. Yeah, he knows who you are. Yeah, this game was written by a guy. A gift. I like presents. Oh no, the warden. Batman has such pouty lips. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he looks. He looks great. I am. Yeah, that's where all the henchmen come from. 
I think the Joker went this way. Using my detective skills here. Get his little chattering teeth out of here. We got an upgrade. Congrats. You've unlocked a Wayne Tech upgrade. Fill the XP meter to upgrade the Batsuit and gain enhanced skills. I'm thinking we get the combo Batarang. Now we can throw Batarangs when we're fighting. Oh my gosh. The Junkler! I had to fight a bunch of people. You'll find him? He's, he's right in front of you. Don't you mean I will catch you? I will stop you? You don't need to find him. Oh, that is a big guy. That's what I'm saying. Alright, first boss fight. I gotta say, though. Boss f boss fights in the Arkham games are um, not good. <laughs> Especially in this one, because they're almost all the same. Almost always against these big dudes. There we go. I wish Batman had a fighting stance, too. He just kind of awkwardly stands there, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We're beating up this guy. So, yeah. You throw a Batarang, you dodge, you punch him a little bit, you dodge some more. And you throw a Batarang and you dodge. Yeah, yeah. Same thing over and over and over. That's pretty much every boss fight in this game. So, exciting stuff. The combat's still good, though. Oh. I was going to say, this has been going on way longer than I remembered it, but he's uh having a heart attack. Typically, they don't have gigantic mutated prisoners in these ominous cells hanging from an endless pit. Very comic booky prison, but it fits, like I said, it fits. Batman, you don't kill. You don't cross that line. That's not your dealio. Batman, you could just use your, you know, grappling hook to grab him. This is a very inhumane prison. Do they just, like, keep people locked away? Like, what do you even need to... Who do you need to put into that? Well, I guess there's, you know, super criminals and whatnot. Well, that guy's dead. There's bats everywhere. Quick, get in here before more of them come. Okay. You gotta open the door. You told me to go quick, and then you took here. forever to open the door. I can see you. I'm literally looking. Okay. I'm sorry for complaining. Jerry. Thank you for letting me in. Powered up the gate. Must have passed out. Joker went through that door. What's on the other side? Patient oh, isolation. isolation. Yeah. The only way in is via the transport system. What's going on with these cutscenes? Not a problem. It's like I'll just need to fading to black cell. really quickly. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Hmm. Something's wrong here. The main security loop is locked. Perhaps the junkler. There he is. Joker. The jocker. You're expecting maybe to There's no He's not in this game. You can't trick me. Batman, you have the worst comebacks. They're not even really comebacks. They're just like the most obvious thing you could say. <gasps> He's a traitor! Officer Bowles. Oracle, I'm at the holding cells. I'm setting up a crime scene. So what's the plan? Isolate something in that room unique to Bowles? Exactly. So Batman is the world's greatest detective. And while the game's... You know, this one included. You don't really do that much detective work. It's mostly focused on combat and stealth. There is still some detective work. It is just scanning the most obvious thing and holding the X button. But it's something. It's nice. It's a nice little thing. It breaks up the gameplay a little bit. I also appreciate Arkham Asylum for being the only game where the detective vision changes color based on what you're tracking. It's a really small detail, but I think it's cool. Hmm, I don't think Bowles went down in that elevator shaft. We're missing the elevator. What did you do to the elevator? Where is he? Oh, there he is. That's a bomb.
Yeah, let's just stand here. Whoa! You scratched my suit. I like how Batman's suit does get damaged as the game goes on, though. It's cool. If only I had a hook that could grapple things. Hmm. What do we got down here, though? There is a vent. Gordon was taken up to the surface in the elevator. Nothing there. If I want to follow but the what's down this little tunnel? Hmm. Some blueprints. Looks like somebody's been watching Batman for quite a while now. But who could it be? Uh oh. Whoa. Oh ho ho. Joker's men have taken control of the cell block transfer corridor. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good, really. I had no idea that the armed crazy people with guns are trying to kill me. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we're really getting into stealth. Just have to grapple across these very oddly placed gargoyles. Why are there gargoyles in here? You know what? It doesn't matter. Why am I playing as a guy dressed like a bat? Because it's cool. And it's cool to hang in the shadows on gargoyles, okay? And these guys aren't even necessarily crazy. I don't mean to sound insensitive, okay? These are the goons. These are Joker's henchmen from Blackgate, which is just a normal prison. He started a fire there to get them all here, okay? So I don't mind, you know, brutalizing these guys at mu as much, you know? They know what they're doing. I just stealth them so hard. No! Officer Balls is dead! His chattering teeth are mocking me. Dead end. That's a hilarious joke. That's why they call him the Jogger, after all. Get out of here. Oh boy. Introduced to another villain. You're something. If he did hack into our communications, wouldn't he know who Batman really is? It doesn't matter. Hmm. Can we solve the Riddler's riddle? Hmm. Maybe this sharply observed portrait is the portrait of Quincy Sharp. That's not even a riddle. So yes, we are introduced to the Riddler, an iconic Batman villain who challenges the Caped Crusader intellectually and challenges my patience. As annoying as the Riddler is as a character in these games, through him and his challenges is how we get all of the extra stuff in the game. Scattered throughout the asylum are Riddler trophies, which you can pick up by searching all the little crevices and depths of the madhouse. And, you know, it just gets you to have a greater appreciation of the work the team put into crafting the asylum. You can also find riddles, which are really, can you find the interesting points in the environment that uh, relate to Batman characters? Doing the riddles actually gets you character bios, which I think is a much needed thing in this game because I'm a Batman fan and I know who these characters are, but the game doesn't really do much at all to explain the context of anything. So if you're playing this game and you don't know who some of these characters are, or even characters that aren't included in the game but are part of the greater, you know, Batman mythology, you get to learn about them. And you can find interview tapes for characters who are in the game that kind of just fleshes out their personality a little bit. Doesn't really add much, but it's a little something for players who want to explore more. The more trophies you pick up and riddles you solve, uh, the more challenge maps you unlock. And challenge maps is where the game's replayability comes in outside of just going through the story mode again. You can fight waves of enemies and combat challenges, perform certain takedowns and stealth challenges, and even play as the Joker. There is a lot of content outside of just the main story, and uh, you, gotta, you gotta thank Riddler for that, as annoying as he is. I am not getting all the Riddler trophies in this game, don't even ask me. Yeah. 
We are leaving this as well, leaving that building of the asylum. Going to the great outdoors to take a look at the whole big gothic picture. Look at this game. I love the art direction in this game. It's just so good. Look at this. Look how good this game looks, okay? That rain pouring down. Weird green glow. Tall gothic structures. Some cool stuff. So I am playing the remastered version of Arkham Asylum, and there's a lot of debate online over whether this remaster is actually good or not. Some people think the original is better, that it has more detailed character models and the environment is more atmospheric, but I don't know. For me personally, I feel like the character models just, you know, it, it kind of depends. In some cutscenes it looks weird. Overall, I think the game looks a lot better though. I do think, you know, the quality is better than it was 15 years ago when the original version released. And there's rain. It rains in the asylum. Uh-oh. Somebody's trying to break into my car. Not car. the Batmobile. Disable the Batmobile's countermeasure system. I saw the alert. What's wrong? Where are you? Well, I'm at Arkham the Asylum, and there's a massive prison break. Harley Quinn probably triggered the alarm. If she's still got Gordon Trying to steal the Batmobile, eh? Okay, done. The it's the Batmobile, not the Quinn mobile. Oh, there's a Riddler trophy. I can't pick it up yet. I wonder how Riddler puts these trophies everywhere. I'll never have a real answer to that question. Thank you, Oracle, for marking key locations. You'd figure Batman would already have a map of this place and remember where he parked his car, but whatever. These guys are not ready. Glide kick. Ooh. Ignore that other kick. It doesn't matter. I just realized there is no parking at Arkham Asylum. There's no wonder Batman just had to leave his car out. I guess he left it on, too. He didn't expect to be here. He was just going to leave Joker, but... Joker's like, nah, I'm going to actually take over the whole place. Also, why did we disable the countermeasures? Just so we could personally attack these guys? Oh, my car's all beat up. Collect explosive gel. We got our new gadget. Metroidvania style. The explosive gel can be used to destroy structural weaknesses around Arkham. Warning, explosions may harm bystanders. That's typically how explosions work, although it won't kill anybody. It'll only like knock out gone. bad guys. Here, we got a weak wall right here. There could be a clue to where she took Gordon. He even sprays a nice little bat symbol. Very artistic, Bruce. And what do you know? Riddler placed a trophy down there. I don't think a blind man has explosive gel or could phase through walls like that. All right, we gotta. Hmm. Barbara gave it to him. There's no way he'd leave it. Well, he got kidnapped, so he didn't really have much of a choice. Gordon's favorite tobacco. Gordon's smarter than he looks. Left in the trail to follow. Or he got kidnapped. I found a pipe. Because you know, I, I don't think he really had much of a choice with anything he was doing. Again, he got kidnapped. He could have dropped it. left me a trail to follow. You know what, I trust Batman more than myself. Hey guys, I'm working hard or hardly working? Don't answer that. Go to sleep. It was a very silent takedown. This guy had no idea. Anyway, I am right outside the Visitor Center. An optional area in this game, actually. You can go in here and it, uh, it changes throughout the game. You'll see what I mean in a second. But uh, as you progress through the game, you go back to the Visitor Center. You'll get some, uh, interesting interactions. Hmm. In a little first person section. Very creepy. Probably the creepiest area in the game. And most people probably miss it. Weird mannequin TV head Joker. I have Oracle. Hmm. Why do you feel the need to go out into the world and fight people like me? Interesting do questions. Do you really think you can win? We'll see. <laughs> Pretty sure I can win. I've, I've beaten this game before. But here's the kicker. It makes this place really creepy. 
See Mannequin Joker right there? But if I were to turn around... Oh my gosh, he moved! Well, I found Harley, which means Gordon. It's right over there. Where's Gordon? Batman, you just saw him. You just looked at him. Everybody's so insensitive in this place. To be fair, I've also called them crazy. I'm just saying. Hmm, interesting stuff. Can I, uh, get through here? It's a good thing this asylum is literally falling apart. Let's me, uh, you know, use some nice explosive gel. Oh, and lots of turns there. Let's go get Gordon. Uh-oh. Evil henchmen. We gotta stealthily take these guys out. Right, let's go after. Oh, uh, okay. Well, so much for stealth. Oh gosh, no! Fall off the ledge. All right, we got him. No. Oh man, stealth is so hard when you get caught. I mean, they're guys shooting you with machine guns, so it makes sense. Hopefully, that's not my blood on the ground. Is that guy okay down there? The room's clear. You're safe now. I'm sure he's fine. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who mm. it was. They someone into the control. elevator. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen well, I guess before we get Gordon, we gotta save all these different doctors. Okay, Don't worry, I will restore law and order. All right. It's a good thing these walls are just far enough from Dr. Young that it'll, you know, incapacitate these guys. And not her. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm sure they're all fine. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Yeah. How did none of you know this? Nobody got on the intercom and was like, hey, the most dangerous criminal we keep here, uh, he took control. The warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. Batman! Hey there. Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! Yeah, I know there's, there's bad guys up there. not for me. Ooh! The power of a third-person camera. Now, what the hell? Get down there, boys. See if he can detect being punched in the face. <laughs> You're talking to them, not me. Oh, that... Oh, my gosh. Gonna need a new table. And a new skull for that guy. Jeez. Yourself, bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview. Gotta to clean this place up. Look how dirty this is. What kind of experiments are they performing here? I tried to tell you. You, you literally did tell me. What are you talking about? Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. Special combat takedown! Ugh. This game makes you feel like Batman. Cash, what happened? There was an alarm in medical. I heard someone shouting and found the doc lying on the floor. When I went to help him, the room was flooded with gas. His door's locked down. He can't get out. Don't know how long we can last. Oh, brave. Let's give this to Cash a great big ass. That's just rude. Making fun of the disabled? That's not very nice, Joker. I'm really sorry about this, but I'm gonna have to knock you through that wall into the giggle gas. <laughs> oh god. I'm sure he's fine. Um, never mind the fact that, you know, he fell through a wall, probably broke all his bones, and inhaled a lot of toxic gas. Batman doesn't kill people. So, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Did you find them? Are they okay? I mean, hopefully they don't yes, run into anybody else, now. but yeah. Batman. Why is Batman's arm so stiff. I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. I can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. Hmm. Safe, doctor. 
Is Joker a master chem- Well, he does have his Joker toxin, so I guess so. I'm Batman. Thank you, Cash. Should get you a Robin costume. Who called the elevator? It wasn't us. It's coming from the lower floor. Oh no. More Joker henchmen. Alright. This will make up for last time. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get shot a thousand times. Batman, how are you contorting your body like that? Why am I even asking questions? Why are there gargoyles in a hospital? It, it doesn't matter. I'm Batman. Guess I'm not glad kicking that guy. Who are you talking to? Those are the guys you came in with. But hey, we got them all. And we did it stealthily. So, Gordon's trail, his tobacco trail, leads into this elevator. I don't know if I uh, trust going into an elevator that they have control over. Too easy. Oh, think about it. I put you trapped in a little metal box, hanging precariously over a deadly drop. Exactly. But just Batman just kind of walked right in here. Wow. He got me good. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fears. Face our fears. Uh-oh. Who could be down here at the bottom of this elevator? Dr. Crane. Another Batman villain, the Scarecrow. Now we're really getting into the horror. I love Scarecrow's design in this. You can't really see it yet, but it's so cool. Somebody in a wheelchair down here? Just in some abandoned part of Arkham, just hanging out in a wheelchair? Hmm, all right, well. Hopefully, uh, whoever that was is fine. I mean, they may have to... <gasps> Gordon! No! I have to help him. I have to save him. Gordon, look into my beautiful red glowing eyes. I'm sorry, Jim. No! They killed the commish. Uh-oh. Barbara. What's going on down by the morgue? Sorry. Camera's twisting. I was too late. I'm sorry. The number you dialed isn't available. Please leave a message after the tone. Barbara, call me back when you get this message. Your dad's Barbara, dead. My eyes are glowing. We gotta fix the camera. Yeah, I'm sticking stepping on all these bugs. I don't remember these gross sound effects. The morgue. I was gonna say it's a normal morgue, but I don't think I'm supposed to be hearing voices in a place that keeps dead bodies. It's just using my detective skills. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. I think they want me to leave. Oh my gosh! I was in the morgue. But now I'm back in the morgue. And I'm detecting three body bags up there. Body bags aren't supposed to be moving. Let's take a closer look. Oh, that's my dead father. Should have stood up to him, son. Like a man. You should have stopped that armed robber when you were eight years old. It's almost like Batman is forced to confront his inner fears. Mom? Help us, Bruce. Don't let us die. Um, you're a corpse in the morgue. So, but there's a third body bag. Well, might as well open it. I'm hearing crows. Oh, and I'm scared. It's Scarecrow. Oh my gosh. Yes, Scarecrow. Arguably, the most iconic villain in this game, even more than the Joker, because of sections of the game like this. We inhaled some of his fear toxin, and now 
Our mind is being affected. We're in some weird alternate world within our own mind. There's a lot of motion blur. But what is going on here? Batman seems very calm right now. I mean, he is Batman, but you know. Hey, it's the bat signal. Oh! Ah, oh, look at that. Giant scarecrow with laser eyes. I love this design, though. He's got, like, the prison outfit just kind of tattered, and he's all, like, bony and skinny. And he's got, like, a Freddy Krueger hand with syringes to inject people with his fear toxin. His sections of the game are totally different from everybody else. You have these interesting, like... 2.5D stealth sections where you can't get spotted or you have to restart. And also you may have saw there when the lightning flashed, he turned into Scarecrow for a second. It's pretty interesting. I'm gonna hit you with the spotlight. Yes! We beat him, for now at least. Can you hear me? Bruce, what's going on? Hey, Barbara. Took an extreme dose of fear toxin, but I'm fine. Slowed me down. I'll get back to you in a bit. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's gas. Oh my gosh! It's like the hallucin <laughs> hallucinatory gas made me hallucinate. That is a very detailed drawing of the Joker. I thought I was supposed to go that way, but I don't know. Maybe not. I guess I got away from them to break the door down. Hey, Veilers. Oh, we got a new enemy, the high security henchman. He's got knives. You can't counter him. So you just press circle before you punch him. Not the most uh, interesting enemy type, but it's it's something different. Got to press a different button. Well, that looks like Harley Quinn to me. Unless he started dressing up like her. Does Joker know this is a video game? It's a very video gamey thing to do. A Jason Todd reference, the dead Robin. Well, that was about as easy as I expected. She's just kind of acrobatic. Not exactly super strength or anything like that. I'm not sure I can stop him this time. You'll do it. Batman, listen. We're not alone. He's got something else down there. Hmm. Yeah, something in that big tank in the center of the room. No, you're good. You're fine. You're not the Riddler. Who's in this big, mysterious, smoky room? Why is there smoke in here? Doesn't seem like a very healthy environment. Dr. Young's log in. Dr. Young? She experimenting on someone in here? Bane. Bane. That's right. Another Batman villain. Although, one that's very weird to be in Arkham. Because he's not insane. So an interesting character to put in here. Did this to you. Dr. Young, the Bruja. She drained the venom from my blood. Hmm. Interesting. We did fight a super strong mutated enemy. And now we have realized that um, Dr. Young is experimenting on Bane with his venom. The drug that makes him super strong. That he's being injected with right now. Hopefully, uh, you know. Everything will be fine. We don't have to do anything, right? We can just talk this out. You may have noticed his eyes turned green, just like that big guy. A hint at uh, maybe what's to come with the story. Uh-oh. That was a great punch, Batman. Unfortunately, you are fighting a 10-foot-tall superhuman hulking monster. So you may have to do a little bit more than that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not a big fan of this version of Bane. 
Bane is a character in DC Comics who is as smart as he is strong. Also, new upgrade. Special combo takedown. Once our combo gets high enough, we can break people's limbs. We can also throw them. Oh! oh the Bane boss fight is just the same as the Titan boss, unfortunately. Just more health. Um, but yeah, Bane is a character who's supposed to be as smart as he is strong. And this game just reduces him to a big dummy. So... It fits the story, I guess, for reasons you'll see in the future that I don't want to spoil yet. But it doesn't fulfill its potential with the character. Oh! That's what I'm saying. Just slapping these pumps off. Our last one. Hiya! Yeah, let's just stand here while this place is crumbling down. Nothing to worry about. Uh-oh. I'm sure he'll be fine. We'll not see suffer any serious bodily harm. Let's get out of here. That was a close one. My arm hurts. Owie. Just tap some invisible buttons. Hey, my Batmobile. Batman, you okay? How where did you even come from? You got through that whole medical center that quickly? <laughs> well, maybe not. You're probably knocked out right now. If not dead. Uh-oh. Good thing Bane only wants to attack me. The Bruja. Oh! Hit him with the Batmobile. Not exactly the most Batman thing to do. Right? Ram into somebody with your car and drown them? <laughs> it's fine. Bane survives. Also, did the car just, like, open all the doors to the asylum? It was not a straight line to get there. It doesn't matter. It was a cool shot. Batman's cool. Sometimes you just gotta enjoy the cool moments. Bane called Dr. Young Bruja. What does it mean? It's Spanish for witch. Oracle, go through the city's computers. Pull up all you can find on Dr. Young. Take her private information. I need her credit card number. Yes. <laughs> it's so silly. I guess it's a Batman thing. It's me, remember? Yeah, it's no wonder Joker was able to take over this place. Batman built an entire bat cave on the island and nobody noticed. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Really? He seemed pretty easy. He just kept running into walls. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. Aha, the secret alternate Batcave on Arkham Island. Because, um, Batman has prep time. Yeah. It's like the dumbest argument ever. Oh, if Batman had prep time, he would win in every situation ever. Yeah, if anybody had enough prep time, they'd win in any situation ever. It's preparing for something. Put Batman in a fight against Superman, no prep time. It's just, I don't know, snap of your fingers, boom, he's there. Gonna fight each other, Batman's done. But it doesn't matter, because Batman's cool. Just saying, alright, prep time is, is a silly argument. But look at this Batcave. Very cool, very interesting. Even got vehicles down here. I don't know how you'd use them. It's a pretty small island, most of it's indoors. Something involving Bane's venom drug. Hmm. Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only barely resembles the original. I see. I see. There are a number of changes that appear to amplify the strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Titan. Even a small amount could trigger a venom-like transformation in the host, eliminating the need for the storage tank. Bane requires. Even though you just said it's nothing like venom. Hang on. It apparently has a very similar reaction in the user. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Bane. And that means a thousand more terrible boss fights. We can't let that happen. Is the Joker crazy enough to do that? He paralyzed you and put you in a wheelchair just for fun. He's pretty crazy. And we got a new gadget. 
the bat claw look at that bad boy kind of weird that we're getting this you know at this point in the game considering it's almost the the same thing as his grapple gun but it's a cool gadget i'm going after her she was heading to the mansion with cash i'm going up top via the catacombs hmm can we go in this way I guess not. The jump scare sound happened before Killer Croc even showed up. Wait, you'll find me. Can't see through the glass. I'm right there. Guess we're not going that way. Hmm. So she must have known that the Jonkler was trying to pay her to keep the formula going. I see. I'm piecing it together. I am the world's greatest detective. Well, I'm playing as him. Exactly. Interesting stuff here. The Joker is evil. Put that in the case file. What is this place supposed to be in that I'm at right now? I'm just thinking about that right now. Just random pillars everywhere. Ooh, Riddler trophy. Thank you. Got a character trophy for Bane. Even though we kind of drowned him with our car. Don't worry about it. Where am I supposed to go? I guess this way. No mystery why she's so scared. I'm coming up to the surface. I'll find her. Wait a second. Ah! I had a feeling. You're about to lose another ledge takedown. I love that takedown. Don't worry, they're fine. I somehow attached a rope to their leg before I threw them off. It's so satisfying. Bye-bye. There you go. See? Fine. These guys are terrible. They can't see me right there. That was not a... Well, I guess it wasn't a silent takedown. It was a ledge takedown. Man. These guys are awful at their jobs. Get new henchman, Joker. I deduce that this guy is dead. But hey, that's just the world's greatest detective for you. I'm gonna very sneakily walk in here. They won't see me. Okay, well, I guess they... I guess they saw the guy in the giant bat costume. It's a very interesting library. I feel like this is the most inefficient architecture you could possibly have for a library. There's like... Four rows of books. There's like more TVs in this room than there are books. I guess that's just how our society is today. People on the television not reading their books. I don't know. I know that that guy is going to need some serious medical attention. Actually, most of these people. Throwing sharp metal objects at their face. Breaking bones left and right. Bodies are not supposed to contort like that. Uh-oh. I'm here to help you, hostages. Well, I guess not. There's an electrified field. It's taught me that I can do anything I want. As long as I counter correctly, and punch people enough, and hold down the X button sometimes. My detective mode stuff. It's a good thing I've uh, played this game before because I would have no idea where to go. Now, hang on hostages, you're fine. Just ignore all the shards of glass that flew in your face. Mmm. He did a little trolling. But I was ready for it. Thank Didn't get me there, Joker. They all gone? Yes, you're safe. What happened? Well, Batman, I don't think you need to ask what happened. Uh, Joker's henchmen came in and tied them up to keep them as hostages. Uh oh. The search continues. Cash, are you in here? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Alright, I'm gonna make up for my previous attempts at stealth. It'll be extra sneaky this time. Don't worry. I know they've got the suicide collars, but... I'll take them all out before they even notice. Probably not, but I'm, I'm gonna take them all out. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get this guy. 
See, if Joker knows that this is happening, he could just tell the people that, hey, Batman's in this spot. He's over here. Maybe that wouldn't be as fun, though. Maybe the Joker's just trying to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a prank on his own henchmen. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a very small detail that means nothing in the grand scheme of things. I'm gonna go for the glide kick. Come on. Okay, glide kick. Oh, distracted the other guy. Okay, took a few bullets. Got that trusty new back claw. He tripped over his own friend. There we go. Triple ground takedown. What is happening to their bodies right now? Good thing I have these really sharp blades on my gloves. Fortunately, nobody gets stabbed by them when I'm punching them, but it's handy for untying people. These guys came in looking for I told her to go to her office and hide. Does she keep her records there? Does she keep her records in her office? I mean, that's a pretty safe bet. It's her office. <laughs> like, what else would she keep in there? Before Joker gets his hands on them. But given the organizational structure of this asylum, files could be literally anywhere. So maybe stay here. Maybe not. Not a problem. I'll try the radio, see if anyone else is around. Look at this morgue. It's disgusting. How is there blood everywhere? They're already dead. Maybe they all died in here. I don't know. Hmm, who is this? Raz al Ghul, classic Batman villain. Another one? Can it be? Yes, it can be Riddler. Just shut up. It's not that hard. Made her way to Young's office. Oh, and there's black masks. Black mask. Although it's like four times the size of a normal human head. No sign of Whoever opened it knew the combination. Yeah, maybe it was Dr. Young. <laughs> maybe it was the person whose office this is, with all these weird discolored jars. See, what did I tell you, Batman? That wasn't a hard conclusion. Aha. Scan the handprint, of course. There we go. And then we get blinded by detective mode. Ah, just go to the right setting. You don't have to flip through them all. There are a lot of handprints here, too. But of course, we must exclude matches older than 60 minutes. Not kittens! It's just a twisted diversion. The real actions on Arkham. When I was a kid, it would take me forever to find this book. And I don't know why. It's literally right there when you walk in. But I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a man. I'm a Batman. A Batman Arkham Asylum. Let's just hope that she doesn't have any copies of that formula anywhere at all. I don't know. What's that? How about our old friend Zaz? Ugh, this guy again. We already beat him up earlier. We have to go through this whole process again. Why didn't you just kill her yet? Why are you holding her hostage? I don't get it. That has nothing to do that that is not your MO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just throw a battering. <laughs> I didn't even try to have a Zaz boss fight. It's like, I had to throw a battering at him. That is not something uh, somebody working at Arkham should be saying. You, can stop you should understand more than anybody that he's just somebody who needs help. But I guess you've been, you know, experimenting on the patients here. The, the Krabby Patty secret formula? And your formula. God, he has gallons of the stuff. There's a lab hidden in the gardens. It's locked off, but the security key codes for the Wait a minute, if he already has gallons of the stuff, then he must know how to make it. Why does he need the formula? You think anything he says makes sense? Yeah. Oh my god! No The Junkler. He tricked us once again. Talking about squealers. Oh, 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 somebody 
Who are you talking to? Batman is like barely conscious right now. Hmm, part of his cane broke off. Perhaps another clue we must follow? To, to follow his trail? The party? I'm gonna get my own party started. How about that? Haha. <laughs> get out of here, stun stick guy. Not really an enemy type, just a new weapon that I can use against them. Oh, get out of here. These guys weren't that tough. Oh, it's a Riddler map. They'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Probably just suffering a lot of internal injuries, but whatever. Oracle, Doctor Young is dead. Yeah. Big explosion right in her face. Before she died, she told me Batman has like no remorse in, <laughs> in his voice. That's kind of the thing about Arkham Batman. He's very cold a lot of the time. Very, uh, very much of a brooding vigilante, which I, you know, that that's part of Batman, but also he wants to help people. Harley Quinn has the warden, and he's the only chance we have to get past these gates. Okay. I think that's maybe one aspect of this version of Batman you don't get that much of. Or at least most of the time, he's just, he acts very cold towards just about everybody. Like right then, didn't seem to care that Dr. Young died. Like, yeah, maybe he doesn't know her that well, but I don't know. You'd figure he'd be a little bit more upset than how he, he just was. Now, here's the thing. This is an Easter egg nobody found when the game originally released. Rock City themselves had to let people know. That uh, if you go over to this wall in the warden's office, an unmarked wall, and you put all three explosive gels, like so, and it'll be really embarrassing if I mess this up. If you do it like that, it breaks open a secret room. Oh my goodness. A secret room in Arkham Asylum. No, it's not another bat cave, okay? What is in this secret room of Quincy Sharp's office? He's got a portrait of himself. He had a statue of himself over there. Look at this feller. What could he be plotting in this secret room? Lots of filing cabinets all over the place. Computers just running numbers. A map. Blueprints of some sort. Well, you look over at this wall, and what do you see? You see Arkham Asylum, and then you see something approved for Arkham. Part of Gotham. Arkham Asylum approving something in Gotham City. What could be going on over there? Hmm? And you look up here, you see some, what looks like concept art of a city of Arkham Asylum. Like some kind of Arkham City. So far throughout this game, excluding Batman's rogue gallery of super criminals, we've only been facing the Joker's henchmen who were transferred from Blackade Prison, but as we follow the trail for Quincy Sharp into the main cell block here, and as you probably hear the ominous sounds in the background, we are about to come face to face with Arkham's inmates. And these dead guards are not a good sign. Oh, there they are. Oh my goodness. Making deranged sounds, locked in cages, an electrified floor. This place is pretty inhumane. I wonder if they just had Batman come in one day and get his full body scanned so that he can go through all the doors and everything. I mean, Arkham Security probably is a fan of Batman. It's the reason they have a job. And hey, look at this. Another Batman villain, Poison Ivy. Formerly the scientist Pamela Isley. In an experiment gone wrong, turned her into a plant lady. Now she likes plants more than people. Just stay where you are. That's basically her character. Mmm, no, you can, you can hang out in this weird red tank. I'll take care of things. The Jockler trapped us! That is not good. Harley, what are you even- oh. How did she not see her there? People, people need to get their eyesight checked in this game. Nobody seems to know where anybody is. Oh, uninvited? She shouldn't have even mentioned there was a party. Now she's gonna be sad. 
Uh oh. Now we gotta deal with eco terrorism on top of regular terrorism. I can see you guys through the screen right now. You better knock it off. What are you waiting for? Cut me free. All right, warden. He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Why is Batman standing like that? Has been destroyed. Give me the Flexing sequence. his hands, oh, his wrists. Yes, of course. Give me your card. I will awkwardly grab it and stick it into my new gadget. There we go. A new gadget unlocked. The cryptographic sequencer uses ultrasound frequencies to bypass security systems. Uses a 512-bit decryption key. I definitely know what that means. Oh, man, why are you looking at that for so long? There's always a way out. Always. This is some wise words, Batman. Especially if you know you have the money to fund all your super sci-fi gadgets. All right, it's hacking time. We gotta just move our thumbs around. And that was really quick. Yeah, just move your thumbs around until it's green, and then it opens up. You stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands now, can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay in there. What? What? Wait a darn tootin' minute. How did the warden get down here? Something ain't right about this. A case of mistaken identity. It's actually Clayface. Harley, we already did this song and dance. I took you out in one hit before. What do you think you're gonna do? I detect you're gonna attack me. But ah! Didn't even need the counter icon. I just knew. Whole boss fight in one cutscene. Whoa, Batman, chill out. The party list. Basil Carlo was on that list. That's Clayface, but he's still locked in there. Oh my gosh. You just got scanned. I just sequenced your cryptograph. Now get in there. Oh. Well. Yep, I know. Damn. She could just easily fit between those bars, but we're going to ignore that. Off to the botanical gardens we go. Jonkler. I found you. <gasps> there he is, face to face. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, why does the walkway close off like that? I have a lot of questions about the architect of Arkham Asylum. Uh oh. Two Titan henchmen, my goodness. Here's a fun fact, in the original version of this game, those boxes in the back had uh, names, like like he, Joker was sending out boxes of the Titan formula to different Batman villains. But since some of those villains show up in later games, they changed it to just other names, I guess. We gotta fight two Titan bosses at once. Oh my goodness. Two bad boss fights at the same time. Do two bad boss fights make a good boss fight? I don't know. Ow. Oh my goodness. Ooh, super duper flip. Okay. I couldn't even move there. This game has a problem with being un unable to move at certain times and getting hit. Wait, we got them both. Those armor upgrades came in handy. Like double the amount of health. Oracle, pick up. Oracle. <laughs> pick up your phone. Facility, but Joker escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. Mm. They've been using a venom yeah, next thing you know, we'll have to fight three Titan enemies. The key. And there's only That's just a joke. Fortunately, we don't have to do that. It's true. Not every Batman villain is a complete maniac. She just likes plants. Alright. Time to track Ivy. We gotta hack this gate, though. Twirl our little thumbs around until our thing turns green. Almost there. Batman, look at the screen. <laughs> Don't look away. There we go. Just because I can see it doesn't mean you can. Batman, you have a grappling hook. You don't need that. But, 
Fortunately, we're going to get another new gadget. Just got to press the invisible buttons on my gauntlet. And, uh, yeah, I remember this part of the game being very loud. Like, unreasonably loud. Let's see. Fortunately for you guys, I can do some magical video editing and make it not unbearably loud. Oh! Yeah, it's loud. My ears. I, I, I get it. There's, you know, the bat wing is there. And it's a giant jet. But the, it's, the game is so loud for me right now. I'm going deaf. I could just take my headphones off. But why do that? I got the line launcher. It's a horizontal grappling hook. That's that's what it is. Doesn't really get used that much in this game, but it's cool. Batman, yes, it's a. <laughs> Why do you look at your gadgets for so long? You know what it is. You ordered it. Off of Bat Amazon. Okay. Let's go launch some lines. Line it up perfectly. There we go. Amazing. Ivy, can we have a conversation? Man to plant. Why would I want to hurt your plants? They're just plants. I don't care. I'm actually here to help you. Because your plants are in danger. Yeah. What was that laugh? You're laughing without moving your lips. You got some weird lips in this game. Why? I didn't do anything. This is what makes you a villain. Batman's got some crazy grip strength. How did he damage that super plant? You better help me out now. Give me a plant gadget. That'd be cool. Where do I, I can throw plants at people. Oh, and kill a croc's lair. You didn't think it would be easy, did you? You mean I have to go underground to find the roots? Go back to your cell, or I'll be after you next. Mmm. I'll be waiting. A poison ivy boss fight? I'm sure it definitely won't be the worst boss fight in the game. Wink wink, nudge, nudge. We got other things to to do right now. <laughs> You attacked me first. What am I supposed to do? You should be more worried about these chattering teeth. I might chomp down on one of your plants. Uh-oh. I know she can control plants, but I don't think they're supposed to be glowing. Uh-oh. Ivy's got Titan. No. What is going on with the vents? Oh. They're making weird sounds. So I guess when Titan, you know, Ivy gets Titan, it just makes her plants stronger. Doesn't turn her into the Hulk. What is happening? Why are you laughing like that? It's creepy. Titan must be having a different effect on Ivy. Oh, that's not good. They'll soon be out of control. This isn't out of control. Plants are literally the size of the building. No, get out of there. The plant's gonna get you. Yeah. Instead of just, like, swallowing them, shoots out weird magical orbs. It's very weird. Hey, Cash. So, what do you think of this place? It's all red now. Did you just ask, what's the deal with the plants? Did yeah, it's Poison Ivy. You have a supervillain here who can control plants. Did you just forget about her? Where do you keep Killer Croc? And how does how do how are there no official records for where you keep Killer Croc? This place has to be shut down. It is no wonder Gotham has so many supervillains. Maybe focus on reforming them or something, not just like torturing them in this hellhole. More security than a joke. You won't get in without the warden's permission. He has the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Cash. Stay here and do not go near the plants. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Had no idea they'd kill him. That's not good. I'm seeing seismic activity all over Arkham Island. You okay? Yeah, crazy plant lady's back at it again. Stop them before the entire island is under her control. Did anyone catch the game last night? No, actually, I was busy.
Batman Arkham Asylum is one of my favorite games of all time. I don't even need to replay it to tell you that. But, it has been... Didn't I already do this intro? I think just about everyone and their mother, when they first played Arkham Asylum, thought that their game was broken here. But, as you saw from that little logo in the sky, something nefarious is afoot. Something scary. Perhaps related to Scare Crow. Look at that, the madhouse. Batman may be escaping patient. See, that's what I like about this game's story. It really shows the thin line between Batman and his villains. A lot of people aren't a fan of this game's story. They think it's the weakest of the bunch. I think, while it is simple, it does d dive into a very interesting part of Batman. And I've already mentioned it a few times, but... Batman really is just like his villains. It's just his belief that people are good that separates him from the rest. Everyone else gave up. They're all like, you know what? Gotham tortured me, I'm gonna torture them. But Batman's like, nuh uh. And there's Scarface. That's a Batman villain, a puppet. Him and the ventriloquist are very weird character. But anyway, speaking of this game's story, it is an original story. Characters like Quincy Sharp and Dr. Young are, and uh, not Aaron Cash, I don't think, but those are original characters made for this game. While this is an original story, it does take a lot of inspiration from Arkham Asylum, A Serious House on Serious Earth, which dives deeper into those themes of Batman being similar to his villains. I just think that's a very interesting aspect of Batman that sets him apart from other superheroes. You know, Batman's cool because he's a, he's a big dude who can beat up people and he's stealthy and has a cool design, but... The, uh, the insanity element, I think, personally, is really cool. As Scarecrow's talking. I'm just talking over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shell of a Batman. Whoa. That was the most emotion Kevin Conroy put into this role is the <laughs> put into the role in this game. I'm just kidding. Voice acting's great. No! Don't shoot me, Junkler! Don't do it! No, we got a game over. There's no middle stick. There's there's two sticks. There's no no middle one. All right, Scarecrow. Face to face. Are you enjoying the extra dose? Not doing stealth this time. It's combat. Ooh, we have to fight the scary skeletons. You know. If Batman's so afraid of these skeletons, he has to keep fighting them every time he gets drugged up. Maybe he should have been Skeleton Man. Seems more scared of those than bats. I don't I don't know how my combo got messed up. Doesn't matter. I'm showing you all my skill, my prowess. In the Batman gameplay. Ooh, get out of here. Yep, there's Scarecrow. Come on. Hit him with that spotlight. I got you this time, Scarecrow. I just scared his crow. I'm Batman. No, stop. There were some theories for the later games that because Batman was injected so many times, he hallucinates things in them. Which is not the case. But he did just inject us again, and I don't think the game ever acknowledges that. It's creepy, though. Yeah, he's gonna flood Gotham. Classic Batman villain trope. Scarecrow, are you down here? Ooh, it's one of those plants. Getting close to Croc's lair. Which is not good for either of us. Hmm. I detect a gooey plant. Oh my gosh! You scared me, Crow... Scarecrow man? That's what Batman's thinking right now. No, not more skeletons. Scarecrow, if you don't eat a sandwich, you might turn into a skeleton. Look at ya. Also, there's a giant cannibal crocodile, so you might... All that's left might be a skeleton when he's done. Oh my gosh. Batman, help him! <laughs> Do your weird animation! Uh-oh. Oracle, I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. He's in some kind of old sewer network. 
Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. Batman, you you didn't even walk in there. You're at the entrance. How could you possibly know it's like a maze? I've got no choice. And just like a bat, we'll use some sonar. Detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. Yeah. Croc's just an animal. That's rude. He has a skin condition. Don't you understand? I'll be fine. Poor Scarecrow, though. He didn't deserve to get eaten. Although we didn't see the body. And that's just a thing about fiction. If you don't see the body, you don't know if they're dead. floating platforms will support me. But will also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. So this is often considered the scariest part of the game, right? You have to move super slow so you don't get caught by Killer Croc. But... If you crouch walk, which is faster than normal walking, it doesn't matter. It just negates the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Give me some more goop. There's got to be a faster way than just sticking your fingers in it and sliding it in. Do you have a bat scooper? I've got enough spores. I need to get back to the bat cave. And just like a bat, I'll use my sonar oh, to can. find my way back out. Oracle, I'm I'm already talking about that. Yes, thank you very much. I'm getting out of here. What about Why did you need to tell her that? He won't be a problem. I think Killer Croc might be a problem. Run, Batman! Reminds me of Temple Run. Get out of here! Go! Killer Croc would be so much faster if he just popped out, but let's ignore that fact. It's a very cinematic moment. Can Batman outrun the exploding planks? His most dangerous villain yet. If only the Joker had thought about that. Well, the exploding planks were no match for Batman in the end. How did... How did that gate close? Doesn't matter. Hmm, I don't know about that. And now. Thank you for telling me, Batman. It's okay, he fell in the water. He's fine. Don't worry about it. How can... <laughs> you keep saying that. You know where I am. How close are you to making the cure? Can you give me some time? 80%, okay? It's been more difficult than I expected. Yes, I have to just type random keys until it works. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. Mm. And the good news? Only one yeah. vial of the antidote. So I can cure one, <laughs> I can cure one person. <laughs> If uh, so, if Joker's plan works, I can I can save one one guy. I guess it. Yeah, I guess we will stop Ivy though. Uh oh. No, it's the plant cave. I have to make a new bat cave. Whoa, her plants are down here. I might hear a secret identity. These plants are tough. Don't you know? I'm Batman. It's time to go over to my cool gadget container and pick up some random stuff to get the most overpowered gadget in this game that never appears again for some reason. It's time for a bit of an upgrade. The Ultra Bat Claw. It's so overpowered. It's actually insane how overpowered it is, especially in stealth sections. Ivy. I see some ivy. Not a lot of poison ivy. Yes, Batman, that is a plant. He's like, hmm, maybe I can just inject it into that, I guess. I don't know. It's not gonna destroy it. Batman, what are those lips? What is going on? Did he get plastic surgery so people wouldn't piece that he's, you know, Bruce Wayne? Considering the lower half of his face is exposed? Uh-oh. Hey, so, like, remember when I was joking about how there's a Poison I Ivy boss fight? Uh, I wasn't joking. There is a Poison Ivy boss fight. And now, I know what you're thinking. This is different. A giant plant? It can't possibly be terrible like those Titan boss fights, right? No, it's actually worse. <laughs> it's actually worse. This is one of my least favorite bosses ever. You just dodge the plants... Oh, or, or get captured. You double tap X to dodge the plant. You spam Batarangs endlessly. And then you do some explosive gel on her thing. Alright, my health is going down. Okay. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna blow up your thing now. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even bothering to put a bat on there. That's more of like an R for Robin. That's how much I care. I would just send Robin to do this if, you know, he was alive. But, you know, as Joker alluded to, Robin being dead and not around. Doesn't matter. Oh! Ah, she'll be fine too. Don't worry. I know all these villains keep falling into bottomless pits, but... Trust me, Batman doesn't kill people. Giant shards of glass kill people, so let's get out of here. Oh, I hear some fireworks. Guys, we have made it to the end of the game. The party. Sorry, I'm kind of ahead of the subtitles. Hmm. And I have an antidote to cure monsters. Well, one monster. So don't infect more than one person, Joker. That would not be very funny. Hey, so that's what those guys were working on. Nice job. They did a really good job painting that. Did they, like, have ladders and stuff to set that up? Hey. Monster sale. I think I'm on the list. I think it's a safe bet. Nah, Bane. I wrapped Bane with the hood of my car. Oh. I must be the guest of honor. I am the guest of honor. I guess fighting all these criminals in Arkham Asylum wasn't for nothing. Hey Joker, thanks for inviting me to your party. I know the, you know, the people at the entrance are reformed, but I don't think you are. Also, that's a puppet. Oh, get out of here. Get out of town. Batman's not even looking. That guy's got permanent brain damage. Nose went right up into his face. Oh. Oh my gosh. Got the Arkham Guards on Titan. Drugs are no joke, kids. Don't do them. You might turn into the Hulk, but not in a cool way. I didn't do that. Whoa, chill out. Sure it has. How much time's left on this video? We're reaching the end. Oh my gosh, and I only have enough to cure one Titan person. Not that I even need the cure here. I'll take them all. As I was trying to say, I'll take them all. Also, this is the only part of the game that has motion blur. And it's very distracting to me. I don't know why there's motion blur in this room. Oh yeah! Super flying slam move. There we go. And we're going to break this guy's arm. That wasn't too bad. Give me a real challenge, Jonkler. Oh, thank you. Really? What? I thought he escaped. No! That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, Batman. He got hit with the... With the Titan. Oh my gosh. No, Titan Batman. Don't do it. He's resisting it. See? is an allegory. For Batman and his villains. All his villains, they gave in to... Even to the violence. Okay, Batman, yeah, he's a violent guy, but no, he resists the urge to be evil. He knows right from wrong. That's what makes him a hero at the end of the day. I don't think the world's like that. Uh-oh. <gasps> Joker injected himself. Oh my gosh. Titan Joker. Here we go, people. 
the end is here. The final boss. Hate to ruin the mood, but the boss fights aren't going to get any better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this final boss also sucks. Interesting, though, that Joker is able to speak, even though he's been injected with, uh, Titan. Titan has affected him differently from the other Titan inmates as well. Gave himself an even bigger dose, that's why. And as you can see, a much bigger dose, an overdose, if you will, on Titan. Got his bones popping out. How is this not rated M? It's my question. I don't know why it gives him a mohawk or why his voice. It would be cool if like his voice was a little distorted. I believe there was concept art that he was gonna be like really skinny and bony, and maybe like a more stealth-oriented part of the the game, like a you know a stealthy boss fight. But nah, I guess they decided weird, muscular, bony mohawk Joker. Uh, I don't even know. It's just weird. Not a good boss fight, as you'll see when this cutscene is done. No. No, Batman did not let the darkness corrupt him. Ooh. No Titan Batman. Maybe broken back Batman and electrocuted. Uh oh. Big Jonkler. You're bleeding quite a bit. You're already painting the place. Oh, his voice is kind of ah distorted now. Yeah, this this is such a bad boss fight. <laughs> he, he just kind of slaps you around a little bit, and then leaves, and then, and then pull him down with the ultra back wall. All right, let's pull him down. Get down here, Joker! Oh, your reign of terror ends. I've electrocuted you. Non-lethally, of course. Anything? What if I put some explosive gel on my hand? A terrible idea. But will probably look really cool. Oh, yes. Oh, good him, Batman! Oh my gosh! Explosive super punch! That was enough to knock him out. We did it. The Jonkler is defeated. Batman's hand... ...severely damaged. That was a pretty bad boss fight. But we beat the game! We beat it! That guy's, that guy's neck is completely broken. That guy's probably dead, too. See, Ivy's fine. Don't worry. Put her back in her weird tank thing. Oh, good. Their skin is completely fine. Yeah. Joker overdosing on Titan. I'm sure that will never come up again. Hey everyone, so this is Nick from the future in the editing room, and I just wanted to pause this shot real quick because I just noticed that for whatever reason, Batman's suit changes in this shot. He doesn't have the undies anymore, his gauntlet is armored, and his belt is different. It is not like this in the original version of the game. This is the only time the suit ever appears like this in Arkham Asylum, and I couldn't find any information about it online, so just an interesting detail I noticed here while editing. But let's get back to the end of the game. Nah, it's fine. I have a really loud jet. Two-Face robbing a bank. The job doesn't stop. Batman's not gonna let the, the darkness consume him. He's got a job to do. He's got a city to save. But wait. We're not done yet. A post credit scene? Scarecrow's coming back, baby! And that does it for Batman Arkham Asylum. Does the game hold up in 2024? Absolutely. 
a thousand percent. Yes, it's aged a little bit, but it's aged like fine wine, okay? If you want a definitive Batman experience, play any of the Arkham games, but play Arkham Asylum, okay? Because it's the first one. It has an excellent environment, okay? A beautiful atmosphere. It's very dark. It's very horrific. But with that, you have awesome superhero action gameplay. The Batman gameplay introduced in this is definitive for the character. More than any other superhero in any other game, the Arkham games combat, stealth, detective stuff, all that fits the character of Batman so well that I don't know how any other studio could really handle it and do better than them. Rocksteady really just came out of nowhere and said, hey, haven't been any really good Batman games. Let me show you how it's done. So yes, I absolutely loved playing this game. I wish I had more to say here for a conclusion, but I think just playing through the game kind of speaks for itself. It's really that good. It does hold up in 2024. If you have never played the Arkham games and are looking for a good game to play, get Arkham Asylum. If you are a Batman fan and you've never played the Arkham games, play Arkham Asylum. Or you could just live vicariously through me and as I played through this game. I mean, you're already at the end, so you probably watched me do it. If you guys enjoyed Arkham Asylum as much as I did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I will see you all in the future as I replay more games and hopefully have as much fun as I did here. Anyway, take care, y'all. See y'all next time.